So, if you clicked on this video, it means I'm 25 years old now. I can't believe it. Honestly, where did the time go? I can't believe I'm this old now. With me being 25 years old, it's, that's, that's kind of crazy because it really goes to show how much experience I already have in my life. Just reflecting on it with like the good and bad things, there's always room for improvement. Today is supposed to be like a very happy day. But normally in my nature, I've always wanted to, you know, take what I've had in the past and make something better of it. This year alone has already been a crazy year for me. I've gotten in touch with many different game developers from indie studios. I've gotten in touch with people from a lot of game cons. I've been going to a lot of conventions now. I met really big celebrities and I'm getting married. I got engaged in July, and my wedding is in 2024. I honestly can't believe I'm getting married this young. It felt like just yesterday that I was making those Angry Birds videos on the Explode Film channel. Now all of a sudden it's just like I look back on it, and all that's just nostalgic. I just can't believe that, you know, time went by that fast. It's just unreal to me. My past was not perfect. Every, nobody is perfect. There was a lot of flaws that I had with my personality, just my appearance, just everything about me back in the day. Like, seeing me like five, like five, ten years ago, I was a completely different person. I was very naive, immature, uh, mostly naive. And there were a lot of things about myself that I didn't like. I wore this similar amount of clothing, like the hat specifically. I've been wearing it since 2015, stuff like that. I've always wore stuff that was completely different, strained from the crowd. And a lot of people didn't like that. A lot of people judged me before they got to know me. But I ended up using it. I used it to create all of this. Me being different, I just decided to make this into my brand. That's how Explode and Apple pretty much formed. And since 2015, I've been making gaming content ever since. But I was making content since 2010, 2011, if you can believe that. I've been on YouTube pretty much for a very, very long time. I started at a very young age. It's pretty much where I got most of my influence from. It's from those older YouTubers from that time period. 2008, 2010. That's where I've gotten my ideas from for my modern stuff. Unfortunately, YouTube's been changing a lot, and more people like to see more of the updated stuff and less of just normal stuff that I've done with my content. It would probably be a lot popular if it, if it was 10 years ago. Like, I'd be just like those type of people. But nowadays, people have gotten, like, competition's been so fierce, people like me are just kind of irrelevant. They don't know I exist. It's pretty much why my viewership's been dwindling, because, you know... There's so much like me out there, right? But at the end of the day, even though I have lost a lot of viewers over the course of the many years I've been making content, I'm still out there just pumping stuff and coming up with new ideas every day. And that's kind of what my end goal is, just to entertain the very few subscribers who are still watching me. Like, anybody who's left out there and is supporting me is much appreciated. So, all that being said and done, it's stuff that I love to reflect on into the future and to move more into my life because I try to turn those negatives into a positive and make sure I do better when when my life progresses. Like I'm since I'm getting married next year, I need to find a career that's going to support the lifestyle of me and my future wife. It, it's crazy to really think about. YouTube's only just my side hustle, so it's. It's like, this is just like more of a hobby than it is a career, honestly. I'm just making a few bucks out of it. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to be five or ten years from now, but I feel like I don't want to go anywhere when it comes to just making content on YouTube. Even if this is just a hobby, it's still a hobby. I'm making content. Why did I make this video? Well, it wasn't just about me. It's more about just letting people know that, you know, it's okay that people aren't perfect. Like, you can just, you know, take what you've done or the choices that you've made in life and just make it into something great. Things will get better, I can assure you. I know a lot of people, 
a lot of my viewers have been experiencing a lot of doubt in their life, and I'm no exception. I was just like that. But when good things like this eventually start happening, you just got to take it and just move along and just go with the flow. It's really what matters at the end of the day. As of me, I'm 25. I got to keep looking forward to both what I want to do with my content as well as what I want to do with my life in general. That's kind of the bottom line. I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of stuff this weekend. I'm probably just going to be spending my birthday with my friends and my fiance. So I don't know if there's really going to be a real video out until later this week. This week I'm going to pump, pump out a lot of content. I'm going to focus on that, try and do a little bit more editing work, experiment more with some of the technology I made, like my editing software, and just travel to conventions just in general in September. It's, it's going to be crazy for me. Focus on new stuff, meet new people. It's... My life is just progressing as it is, honestly. And it, the same thing can happen with you if you have the right mindset. Think more optimistic even if you're at the lowest of the low. It's really what matters. It's pretty much what was on my mind when, you know, by the time I did turn 25. It's just, time just keeps happening. It's crazy. But again, I got something better than 24. 25! Ha! Yeah, I'm 25 now. Hope you guys enjoyed. I, I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Goodbye, people.